What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Bells for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves a crazy fun team to showcase for you guys. We are rocking out with Twist Scarf Salamence, alongside Rain Squad, Ludicolo, and Pelper, and then we got Speed Boost Blaziken. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Join the community. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So come on, yo. I'm begging you. Hit that subscribe button. Join the Genius community. Stay up to date with all the content. With all the content. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with the one and only Salamence. Not just any Salamence. We're rocking Choice Scarf Salamence. So this Salamence can actually outspeed pretty much any Pokemon on the field. Like I said, we got the Choice Scarf as item. We're rocking Intimidate as its ability. And then we have a phenomenal moveset of Draco Meteor for heavy stab damage, Flamethrower for coverage, Rock Slide for coverage, and Dragon Pulse for normal stab damage. So we got the heavy stab damage and the normal stab damage. We can use them whenever we feel like it's fit. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Ludicolo, one of the best Pokemon in the ring. We got Scald, we got Fake Out for flinch control, Ice Beam for coverage, Giga Drain for another stab move. Rock and Swift Swim as its ability to double its speed stat in the rain. And last but not least, the item that we are holding is the Expert Belt to make super effective moves do a little bit more damage. Can't have a rain squad without Pelper. Ludicolo, meet Pelper, Pelper, meet Ludicolo. Best friends, always has been, always will be. We got Citrus Berry on this uh, Pelper. We got the Drizzle ability, obviously, to set the rain. And then we're rocking out with a great moveset of Scald, Hurricane, Roost, and Protect for this lovely, beautiful Pelper. I love Pelper. Such a cool Pokemon. Really cool Pokemon. Just love it all around. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Speed Boost Blaziken. We got Blaze Kick, we got Protect, we got Sword Stance set up, and then we got Close Combat for Stab. Like I already mentioned, Speed Boost as its ability, so every time at the end of every single turn, this thing's going to go plus one on speed. So we can protect the turn, we can just play normally, but every single time, this boy's getting that Speed Boost. Last but not least, the item that we are holding is the Life Orb to make this Pokemon do a little bit more damage. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Mamoswine, and I love me some Mamoswine. Such a cool Pokemon, really, really cool typing. It's Ice and Ground, and we gave it the Focus Ash as item. We're rocking that Oblivious ability, so you know stats can't be like, you know, taken down. So if they want to intimidate me, that's totally fine. We also have a move set of Ice Sharp for first turn priority, Icicle Crash and EQ, both for heavy stab damage. And last but not least, we got Protect on our lovely Mammoth over here. Final Pokemon on squad is the best physical attacker in the game. It's going to be Scizor over here. We gave it Bull Punch, X Scissor, Sword Sands, Protect, Technician ability, and then, you know, got to rock that Metal Coat as item. Everything is fairly normal. Everything is straightforward with this scissor. But there it is, guys. There's a the team preview. Let's get rocking in that Coliseum. Let's grab ourselves some wins. First battle for today's video coming at you guys. We are going up against a Blaziken and Swampert team that also features, what is that? Scizor, Rotom Wash, Gardevoir, and Tyranitar. So very strong team right here. But weather could definitely be in our favor. Weather control could be huge for us, which I'm really leaning towards. I'm really leaning towards just going Ludicolo, Pelper. Starting off with the Rain Squad and rolling out from there. I do dig that. I do dig that. Bringing Scissor in the back because, you know, Scissor's a beast. And then probably having this Choice Scarf Salamence. I do like me this Choice Scarf Salamence. I really do. I don't know why, but I'm digging them. I'm digging them. Really fast. Hits decently hard. Do I lock this in lock it down? Do I lock it in lock it down? Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, I love playing BDSP for you guys. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying the BDSP content. It is just so much fun and it just feels so different from Sword and Shield. It's always nice to hop on and make a video with this every couple days. It's just a lot of fun. It definitely is a lot of fun. But he's going to go Swampert alongside with Rotom. This is perfect for us. I really do like this. I really do like this. We could fake out. I think I'm just going to Energy Ball over into Swampert. And I might just Hurricane here. Actually, I think I'm just going to Hurricane this. And not even fake out and just go straight for a Giga Drain. Gonna be my play all day. No fake out needed. No fake out needed. Let's see what he does. Giga Drain's just gonna come straight out here. Chipping up some damage. Not just some damage. Just absolutely dumping on the road time. Beautiful. Yo, Ludicolo. I told you. Ludicolo's a menace. He's an absolute menace. We're gonna be able to take out him. Hurricane's gonna come out from Pelper. Give me the confusion, yo. Give me the ducks. No ducks come out here. And this thing's gonna yawn me. Okay. So I can... I have options here. I can hard swap here, which I'm kind of leaning towards. It really depends who he brings out. It really depends who he brings out here. I have options. Because I can stay in here and get off some damage. Oh, he's going to bring out Scissor. And that's gonna what I'm going to need my what's called for. That is going to be what I need my, uh, my... My... What is that Pokemon even called? That's Salamence for. Salamence is going to rock out with that. I could go into my own Scissor here. And just swap to Ludicolo. But I kind of want to stay in here. And just... Take the sleep and take out the Swampert at the same time. And I'm kind of leaning towards that. That does sound really good. So I'm going to do that. 
I am going to do that. Yep. I'm going to stay in here. I'm going to take out the Swamper. We're going to say, Ayo, Swamper, get on out my game. We'll take you out, and we'll go to sleep. I'm with that play all day. Look at my lovely little Sombrero. We are rocking out with this Sombrero. Helper's going to Scald here. Scald's going to do good damage and have a chance to burn. Give me the burn. Throw it to me. Throw it to me. No burn, and this thing's towards me. Okay, so maybe he thought I was swapping, but no swap for us. We have speed up against that thing, unless he's going for, obviously, a bullet punch. And then, uh, oh, was this thing leftovers? Leftover Scissor. I have seen Leftover Scissor a few times. It is a pretty bulky Pokemon. My lovely Ludicolo goes to sleep. Me no likey. I don't like that one bit. And again, if I could just waste out this rain and get out my what's it called, we should be fine. Oh, this is beautiful. Gardevoir, I have Scissor in the back. And Scissor, I have Flamethrower on Salamence in the back. I'm liking where we're sitting. I'm digging this. But uh, who's going to be the bigger problem right here? Maybe you. Actually, maybe this Gardevoir. Maybe this Gardevoir. And the reason I say maybe this Gardevoir is because... It could be Choice Scarf, and it could outspeed me. I'm going to do that, and sh I guess we'll double down on Scalds. I guess we'll double down on Scalds. We'll just uh, chip up some damage here. But yeah, he also has a Scissor right there. Scissor kind of annoying. Could pose a little bit of a threat. He's going to Bull Punch, and probably take me out with Swords Dance, right? No, we soaked that. Not very effective. We love that. We love that. This thing's going to drop a Moonblast. A lovely Moonblast. So he's outspeeding me. And Pelper eats him. We love to see that. Pelper eats, so he's going to be able to get off a shot. But his special attack is going to be dropping down. Citrus Berry coming out here, and this is exactly why I gave it to him. Usually, I rock the Damp Rock with it to let the rain last longer. But most of the time, you do not need rain for, like, seven turns, you know? It's just, like, it's whatever. But, yeah, that, uh, that Gardevoir is definitely choice. That Gardevoir is a 1,000% choice. And the reason I say that is because it's outspeeding my Ludicolo right now. Ludicolo cooks in the rain. He cooks in the rain. So, that's gonna happen here. I could roost, but they're just gonna take me out, probably. So, I'm just gonna go here, and I'm gonna double down to this Gardevoir. I kind of want to get rid of this guard board. Kind of a pain right here. Moonblast's going to fly. Yeah. Send it that way. And that's going to take me out. That's fine. That's fine. Like I said, we have scissor in the back end to kind of clean that one up. And then this thing's just probably going to go for an X scissor and maybe pick up the double kill. Let's see. X scissor, yeah. Eat this up somehow. Nah, yo, he dead. He's sword stands plus one. He's sword stands plus one. But this guy's making it battle. But he's going to be very upset when I throw out both these Pokemon I have. He's going to be very upset. Very upset when I come out here with these two guys. And I think rain ends. Does Rain end this turn? Rain might end. If not, I still see Flamethrower taking this, uh, taking this scissor out, no problem. I really do. Wait, look at this, yo. My scissor coming out here, coming in clutch. He's like, yo, bro, get out of here. And then he, he's kind of sitting here, he's like, okay, it's Talmans, but he doesn't know I'm rocking Chewy Scarf with Flamethrower. And Intimidate comes out here to minus one onto that, uh, that scissor. So the scissor's plus one now, because, you know, he swords answer earlier, and then Gardevoir's special attacking, so it doesn't really matter. And the Rain didn't end. The Rain did not end. But so we're gonna pose this threat right here. We're gonna go for a bull, bull punch, and we're choosing right into this flame tower. I don't care if it's raining, we need it. Scissor's so gonna bull punch. We're gonna say bye bye to Gardevoir. Get on out my face. That's how much should go next. And I still think this should be able to take out in rain. It's gonna be cutting it close. It's definitely gonna be cutting it close because it's not a stab move and it's in the rain. And this thing's going for a bull punch of his own, which I can soak. I can soak all day. Look at that. Look at that. And we can soak up another one if need be. Flame tower comes out here. Bang bang. GG easy. Oh, so close. So close to taking him out. We don't take him out. The rain finally stops, and it's okay. We can legit just bull punch, flamethrower all day. It's over with. It is over with. It is over with. You love to see it, baby. Gene's going to go up one on the board. 1-0. And I'm just going to go for an X scissor instead of bull punch, because I want to see my Salmus use a flamethrower. He doesn't cancel. He goes for a bull punch, which should, we should be able to eat that one, too. Beautiful, yo. The Intimidate clutching up, allowing us to eat up two bull punches, which is great. Flamethrower comes out here, and now it's GG's. Yo, Scizor, get on out my game. 1-0 to get this video started. Let's hop to our second battle. Look to go back to back. This is why I absolutely love BDSP. Look at the team we're going up against. Look how cool that is. Blaziken, Electrode, then he also has one of my favorites of all time, Sharpedo, and then he's got, you know, Garchomp, Crobat, and Kangaskhan. But yo, cool Pokemon. He got some off meta. Let's rock out here. Look to go back to back for today's video. Um, who do I think he's going to lead? Kangaskhan probably is going to get the lead for the fake out. I could go Ludicolo for the fake out, or I'm leaning towards, uh, I still Blaziken here. Blaziken lead, maybe protect, get all that going, and we'll all from there. I am kind of digging that. Blaziken Mamoswine's looking pretty good. Blaziken Mamoswine. I do dig that. I do dig the Blaziken Mamoswine. We can roll off from there, and then in the back end, I kind of want to just go Salamence to Scissor. Two very cool Pokemon. We could obviously go Ludicolo and Pelper. That could work well. Actually, I kind of lean towards more of that, right? Yeah, let's go Ludicolo and Pelper just in back end, and then we'll bring Blaziken and Mamoswine as a nice little lead. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I love Mamoswine. Mamoswine hits like a truck. Blaziken's great, poses a threat. We can get the speed boost, kind of roll off from there. But he's going to end up leading Kangaskhan alongside with uh, Electrode. 
Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm gonna just gonna protect the Blaziken this turn. And probably drop an EQ. Yeah, let's do it. Let's protect and drop an EQ. He has Electrode on the field. We'll block the shot. We'll get the speed boost. And we'll be able to drop a lovely little Earthquake. Which we love. And we do have a Bolivia, so I believe it can't be faked out. Which is really good. Really, really good. Or is that only inner focus? I get a mix up sometimes. I think Oblivious will not allow us to be faked out, right? I, I, I could be wrong. I definitely could be wrong, but we know Kang's Kong has fake out, and he's going to send it probably our way. So we're hoping he just sends it into Blaziken. We can protect it up, eat it up, and then drop this EQ for free. For free. And then we have speed. We can roll off from there. But I'm kind of scared of that Electrode. Maybe use an explosion. It could be an explosion Electrode, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. But yo, I can't wait for uh, the Hisuian forms to come into competitive battles. Like in the next gen. Can you imagine Hisuian Electrode getting some usage? Electric and Grass type? That would be so much fun. That would be so much fun. Same thing with like Cleavor and all that. Just be too much fun to use. We're going to send Protect on this lovely little Blaziken. And what's going to happen here? And this guy's just going to fake out into him. And yeah, I don't. Th I think Oblivious. Yeah. Thunderbolt comes through. We block. Are we Oblivious? Or how's that work? We're flinching? Yeah, we're flinching. Okay, never mind. Oblivious did not work the way I wanted to. We're going to grab a speed boost here. I'm just going to drop a... Uh, I'm just going to drop a close combat. Take you out and then uh, just roll into an Icicle Crash. But I don't want to drop an EQ and kind of just like... Take out my Blaziken. Because that will take out my Blaziken, no problem. It will just hands down smack up on him. It will just smack up on him. But Blaziken, obviously the fastest on the field now. He's going to be able to close combat. And if it connects into this uh, Kangaskhan, he's dead all day. But then I think Electro comes across. Takes me out. That's fine. I'll go one for one and take out this Kangaskhan and get off some big damage on the Electro. We still have the Raid Squad in the back. We still have the Raid Squad in the back. All right, let's see what my boy does. Let's see what my boy is doing. Make a move, dude. This guy's overthinking. He's thinking too much. He's thinking way too much. Just let your Kangaskhan die to this. Just let him go out. He might swap the Electro now, thinking I'm going for EQs. Let's see. No, he swaps the Kangaskhan. Great play by him. And what's he going to go into? Something that doesn't take a close combat? Great call. Great call all day. Screech. He's screeching me. How dare you screech me? How dare you screech me? He's gonna drop my defense. That's fine. Defense harshly falls. Blaziken's gonna use close combat. My defense is gonna drop. And maybe, just maybe, a Blaze Kick can take that out. I might double down into him here. I might double down into him. Ice Shard, Blaze Kick? That could work well. It really depends how much damage we get off on this uh, Electro. And of course, he dodges attack. That's so whack. Hate this game. Hate this game a lot. I don't like this game one bit. Okay, so from here, we're gonna Blaze Kick. And I think we're just going to double down into this thing and take it out. So I'm not dealing with a Crobat coming in with a, uh, what's it called? With a Brave Bird and just dumping on my Blaziken like that. It's just not happening. So I'd rather double down into it, finish this thing off, allow it not to A, set up a Tailwind, or B, take out one of my Pokemon. So I'm with this. Even though if Electro does go for Thunderbolt, that could take out my Blaziken. But we'll just see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. You gotta remember, he still has Kangaskhan in the back, so I might want to swap my Blaziken soon. Might want to keep my Blaziken for the back end. Just such a good Pokemon for back end support and coming in clutch in the end. But it's going to be a good battle. Our opponent's playing great. Our opponent's playing great. Let's see what he does. He's really taking his time thinking about this turn. So I give him props. I give him props. He's probably like, yo, I'm going up against Jeans. I got to smack up on him. Which he might do. He might do. Like I said, he's playing really well. He's playing really well. Let's see, dude. Make a move. Make a move. There it is. Icicle, or not Icicle Shard. Ice Shard is going to poke here. And, oh, if that would have KO'd, that could have been huge for us. Could have been huge for us. Blaze Kick's going to fly through. We're doubling down. We're going to take out this lovely little Crobat. Crobat, get on out of my face. Crobat's too good. He's too good. Such a good Pokemon. He's going to go next. Probably drop a Thunderbolt, right? Take out my Blaziken. Is that what's happening? Yeah, Thunderbolt. We're minus one on special defense. And we still eat. That's gorgeous. That is lovely that we get another turn with Blaziken. I'm a big fan. Big fan. Gene's a big fan. Big fan. And I might drop an EQ for free here. I could protect and drop an EQ if I want to. Cause he's gonna go after my Blaziken all day. Or I can just drop a Blaze Kick, drop a close combat, and then go into like a uh an EQ. And just take out my uh Blaziken on top of that. But if he goes to the Kang's Kong, which he might do, I think I'm just gonna double protect, take another speed boost, and then roll from there. Yeah. I'm with it all day. Double protect coming in hot. Coming in hot. Do 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 do. Double protect. Da, 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 da. We're not dealing with fake outs. We are not dealing with the fake outs. So we double blocking. We're just going to be like, hey, yo, we'll waste out this turn. It's no big deal. And then from here, I'm thinking just close combat. 
into Kangas Kong slot and then drop an EQ. I'm really leaning towards that. I'm really leaning towards that. Because Mammoth Swine's gonna go last. Mammoth Swine is gonna go last, and I feel like he's just gonna take out my uh my boy skin with something. So that's gonna be our play. We're gonna double protect. He's probably faking out here. Yep. And then here comes another one. And then here comes Thunderbolt. So yeah, I think he's gonna do kind of like a similar thing there. He's gonna drop a Thunderbolt. And I'm just gonna drop a straight close combat into the Kangaskhan. Close combat, and then we EQ it all around. We'll say bye-bye to our Blaze King. He's probably taking him out regardless. And then uh, we're going for an EQ. Send it. Send this. Send it his way. Double Protect definitely clutched up. Definitely clutched up. Like I said in the beginning, Mammoth Swine and Blaze King, huge threats. Huge threats when played right. Especially Blaze King, yo. He gets a speed boost. He outspeeds everything. He hits like a truck with a life orb. Mammoth Swine sitting here. It's a little bit on the slower side, but when he hits, he hits like an absolute boulder. Just dropped off a mountain and hits you in the face. That's how hard he hits. He hits like an absolute unit. Look, look at him. Look at him with his tusk. Look at that. Imagine getting hit by that. Dead. Dead on impact. You wouldn't even feel it. That's how That's how hard he hits. But let's see what he does. Opponent's taking a little bit more time again. Close combat comes through. He allows Kangaskhan to take the shot. He's dead. Get him mowing out of my face. Now I think Electro goes after my boy skin, takes him out, and then we just send this EQ. And if he doesn't go after my boy skin, then we still send this EQ and take out the boy skin. Like, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. We drop down to 22 with life orb. There's a Thunderbolt coming in hot. Yep, there's Thunderbolt. Look at that. Nope. Easily predict it. We knew exactly what he was doing, and now we can send this EQ freely. We're chilling. We're chilling. And this might take him out. Big old damage coming in hot. Oh, this thing's rocking the Shuka, yo. He's rocking the Shuka Berry, so he'll be able to soak that up. I do have Ice Shard, which might be able to take him out at that point. He's going to be cutting close. Shuka Berry doing some work. Shuka Berry doing some work. But uh, from here, I can just go into Ludicolo. I can fake out. I can Ice Shard. I can do a good bit. Uh, or I can swap into Pelipper. It's up to me. Totally up to me. Let's see who his final mon is. Gonna be Garchomp. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. We love us some Garchomp. We love us some Garchomp. And I think from here, you know, we're just gonna do this. I should take out Electrode. I'll have two Pokemon with Ice moves out on the field after this. Or I have two I have two Pokemon with Ice moves out on the field. I don't think he picks up the double kill. We fake out. Ice Shard should be able to come in here and take him out. If not, we'll just Ice Shard him next turn. One. Yo, free focus, Ash. Get out of my face. Dragon Call coming in hot. You going after him? That's fine. That is totally fine. Because now I can just rock an Ice Beam into the, uh, into the, what's it called? Ooh. Ooh, this is tough. This is real tough. What are we going to do here? I don't see him taking out my Ludicolo in one shot. I really don't. So I might have Ludicolo just go after the Electro. Yeah, that's got to be my play. That's got to be my play. We're going to do this. We're just going to go for a Scald, or do we go for a Confusion? I'm just gonna skull him. He also damage, maybe get a burn. But yeah, we need to take out Electro because if I go after Garchomp here and he does have a Yachi Berry, he will be able to soak up that shot and then Electro could take out the Pelipper and then it, it would just be a mess. We would lose this battle. So this one's gonna come down to the wire. It's coming super, super close. So we're just gonna focus out on this Electro. He hasn't protected all game, so I don't think he's rocking with it. And we're just gonna get after that. But yeah, we're gonna need Ludicolo's speed to take that thing out. Eerie Impulse. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Okay, that's cool. Every impulse. Giga Drain comes through. Okay. So we're minus two. Oh, wow. This is going to be real close. It's going to be real close. But still, Pelper can do some good damage. And do some good damage. He's probably going to drop another Dragon Call or a Rock Slide. Pelper, you should be able to eat that out, Pelper. Oh, yeah. All day. No flinches. No flinches allowed. We don't deal with the flinches. We don't deal with it. Thank you. Thank you, Paloops. Skull comes through here. Does more than half. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. No burn. And that's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. We'll drop an Ice Beam four times super effective, and then we'll just throw another Skull. Right? I don't think Garchomp can kill me. He's going to need a flinch on the rock slide. Ice Beam comes out, and he did have the Yachi Berry, so he made a great call by going after that uh, Electro. He made a great call. And we still take out. Was that a crit? Did I just crit that guy? Yo, I apologize. I apologize for the crit, but our opponent was losing this battle anyway. GG's. We go 2-0. Let's hop to a third. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. Our last opponent wanted a rematch, so I was just like, yo, let's get after it. Let's do a rematch. We're hopping into our third and final battle, going up against same opponent, same team. Let's see if we can go back to back to back and grab ourselves a perfect record. Who am I leading here? Who am I leading here, though? I definitely want to bring in Salamence, have some fun with this one, because Salamence is a cool Pokemon to showcase. So I'm going to bring him, but I'm not going to lead him. I'm not going to lead him. I might lead the Blaziken. Blaziken and Ludicolo could be cool. Could be cool, because we could post threats. We have Fake Out ready to roll. I'm really liking that. Actually, let's go Mamoswine and Ludicolo as the lead. Bring Pelper and then Salamence in the back. 
I'm with it. I am with it. Lock it in, lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But if we lose, we lose. It's okay. We still guarantee ourselves a winning record, which is which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. But yeah, our opponent's taking a little bit of time. A little bit of time to pick his team. It's all good. He's, he's got 35 seconds. He can do his own thing. He can do his own thing. We can take a nice, lovely little hydration break. Always got to stay hydrated. Always got to stay hydrated. But, uh... But I think he's going to lead. He might lead the, definitely the Kangaskhan again. Because, you know, fake out control is huge. We do have fake out on our own. But I don't know if Ludi Cole without Swift Swim or in the rain is faster than Kangaskhan. So, I guess we're going to find out if he does lead Kangaskhan. Which I do, I do believe he's going to do. I do believe that's going to happen. So, we got Mammoth Swine. Who I feel like Mammoth Swine is just such a great lead. Oh, cool. He goes these two. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm going to fake out the Blaze again. I'm going to dump on that... Uh, I'm gonna dump on that crowbat. I'm gonna say go home that crowbat. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this thing out. The next turn I might swap into Pelper and go for a skull and try to take out Blaze. Solid turn. Solid turn. And I feel a sneeze coming, so I gotta pitch my nose. <laughs> Do not want to sneeze on Cam, even though I wouldn't really care. <laughs> I bet yo, the jeans the jeans community understands. People sneeze. People sneeze, dude. It happens. It happens. But uh we're sitting in a great spot here. I really do like this lead that we that we pulled off here. We have that fake out coming in, so he's forced to either protect or take this fake out from Blaziken. And then if he doesn't protect or anything, my Mammoth Swine's just gonna dump on that uh that Crobat, which is huge. We're just hoping that Crobat's not setting up a Tailwind, because you know, Tailwind can do us dirty. Speed control huge. It is huge. It is huge. We'll see what my guy wants to do. What do you wanna do, baby? Do 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 we withdraws? The Blaziken! He withdraws Blaziken. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. And he's gonna go into... Oh, I love Sharpedo! Look at that dude. So no Protect comes out here. We're gonna say bye-bye to Crobat. Hopefully he's not setting up a Tailwind. You know, he goes for a Brave. I'm fine. I'm fine with him taking out my Ludicolo. That's cool by me. It's cool by me, sweetheart. It's fine by me. He's gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Yo, get out my face with that. Missing my icicle crash? Out my face. Get on out of here. Get on out my face. Not dealing with it. Not dealing with it. That might be a speed boost. Uh, it might be a speed boost. What's it called? A speed boost Sharpedo. But Sharpedo's going to go for the water move. He's going to bring me down the Sash. That's totally fine. We're going to go for Hurricane. We're going to hope that this icicle crash lands. And take out this crowbat. There's no way he doubles down to my mammoth swine. There's just no shot. There's just no shot. No shot. So I'll use my focus ash here. That's a little whack. Crowbat should be dead. And now we're sitting in a tough position. A tough, 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 tough position. Wow, dude. Come on, mammoth swine. You're better than that. You are so much better than that. Drop those icicles and hit this bat. Just smoke this bat right in the face. Take him out. It will easily take him out. It will easily take him out. No problem. At full HP. He gone. He gone. Mammoth Swine hits way too hard. He hits way too hard. But I wonder what he's going to do here. I don't think he's going to protect the Crobat. I, I just don't think he's going to do that. I think he's going to keep Crobat in here for a shot. And Mammoth Swine outspeeds. Why? What? Why Mammoth Swine? I'm, I'm confused. Why'd Mammoth Swine go first? What? What just happened? I gotta read up on this dude. What just happened? Why did Mammoth Swine go first? Very confusing. Pelipper, good work, dude. Love you, Pelipper. Love you, Pelipper. Poor Sharpedo. I love you, dude. But uh, we're going for the win here. But why did my Mammoth Swine go first? I'm super confused, but I'll take it all day. I don't understand how he's faster than that Crobat all of a sudden. Was he using, like, I don't even know, like a Turn Echo's last? I gotta see something. Does Icicle, did, did I not read his ability or anything? The Pokemon is oblivious that keeps it from being infu, infatuated and falling for taunts. Yeah, I know that. But uh, does Icicle crash like when it misses or something? Do something crazy? No, why did he go first? Why did he go first? I do not know. I do not really care anymore. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. That's fine by me. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna drop a hurricane. 
it's 100% in the rain. It's super effective. And I'm just gonna ice shard over onto. He's gonna fake one of. He's gonna fake out my mammo swan. So you know I'm just gonna protect. He's gonna fake out my mammo for the KO. That's exactly what he's doing. He's faking out my mammo for the KO. No, you son of a biscuit. What's he going for? A faint. His super tech suit. What a play. What a play, dude. I'll give it to him all day. That's a solid play. A solid play. She just went for the ice shard. Took some damage while we can. And this thing shows that it's life. Mode. He's going to get that speed boost, though. Oh, oh, we don't like it. We don't like it. Okay. We're going to go to our final Pokemon. It is going to be Salamence. And what am I choice into here? Dragon move? Rock move? Definitely not fire. Intimidate's gonna come out here. That's huge intimidate on two physical attackers. Oh, but this thing's scrappy. Of course it's scrappy. Thing is scrappy. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna go here. Uh, what's gonna do more damage? Scald or Hurricane? They both do a ridiculous amount of damage. I'm just gonna go for Scald and then uh let's Dragon Pulse up. Let's Dragon Pulse up. We're gonna choice to a Dragon Pulse. Get that speed rolling. We might be faster than that uh than that Blaze game for one turn. Close combat comes through. We should be able to eat that up. Yes, sir. That's GG's. We're going to win this battle. We're going to win this battle. That is gorgeous. Thanks to Mammoth Swine outspeeding that bat. That's gorgeous. Skulls can come in here. Take out the Blaze can no problem. Dragon Pulse might do about half damage, but it's just going to start slowly chipping up. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see it. Look at that. Look at that. A little bit, a little bit less than half. And then Double Edge come through here. And wait a minute. Oh, Pelper. I love you. I love you, Pelper. Pelper just won us a game. Pelper just won us a game. We gave it to Citrus Berry, too. He's getting some more HP back. Yes, sir, Pelper. Yes, sir, Pelper, sir. Good old... Good old Paloops, dude. This is why I love this Pokemon. Awesome all around. So, all comes through here. We'll tell Blaze can to go home. We can just drop a nice little uh, Dragon Pulse next turn. Take that thing out, right? I believe it can take it out now. And then, if not, we're doubling down. But it's GG's. Actually, he's probably not going to be able to take it out. It is not going to be able to take it out. But still, we're just going to Dragon Pulse. I probably could have roosted, but it really didn't matter. It really didn't matter, but yo, MVP, Pelper, but low key, that Mammoth Swine outspeed that Crobat. I don't know why, if you guys know, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But that gave us a huge upper hand win that battle. Huge upper hand at win that battle. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see it, but our opponent's thinking here. He's like, yo, how can I win this battle? He cannot. He cannot. Dragon Pulse gonna fly through here. Bring him down to about red, probably a uh, high yellow, maybe. Or we just get a high roll and bring it down to low red. And this thing eats his berry. That's totally fine. He's going to eat his little salic berry, boost his speed, and Endivore's coming in hot. We go down to five, just like him, and then Hurricane comes through, and that's GG's. That's a good game. That is a lovely game. That is a lovely game. We got 3-0, and we grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another BDSP video and another perfect record in this game. Salamence, Choice Scarf was amazing. I also love the Pelipper and the Ludicolo Swift Swim combo. Always solid combo. And then we had the three backhand Pokemon, Boyskin, Mammoth Swine, Scissor, that do absolute work in most situations. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.